Hello everyone, this is Scott Guider, the character Cephas from the hit franchise series, The Hillbilly Horror Show. You can now experience all the greatness from all the Hillbilly Horror Show. And all you need is a library card. And then you can go to Hoopla and watch them all for free. That's right, free. We love the word free. So, go ahead. For more details, go to the Hillbilly Horror Show Facebook page or go to www.hillbillyhorrorshow.com. That's right, Lulu, Bo, and myself, Cephas, the mumbling idiot. Again, go to www.hillbillyhorrorshow.com for more details or to the Facebook page. Hello, everyone. My next review is called At Granny's House in 2015. Here's the storyline. Marion Rogers, Granny, an elderly lady in the small town of Haley, reluctantly accepts the mysterious Rebecca Torrance as her live-in caregiver, but eventually the two form a strong friendship. Rebecca soon sells Granny on the idea of turning the house into a guest house for travelers looking for free accommodations, which in turn leads to revealing Rebecca's dark and fatal secret. Directed by Les Mahoney, written by Les Mahoney, here's the cast. Rachel Allig as Rebecca Torrance, Bill Olbers Jr. as Borstag, Les Mahoney as Ted Steiner, Glenda Morgan Brown as Marion Rogers, Laura Lee as Linda Steiner, Nissa Von Reeder as Sam, Bryant Watts as Frank Rogers, and Mickey Pounds as Eric Holder. And the cast goes on. Before we get started, Let's take a listen to the trailer. It was your agreement, not mine. You need help, and now you've got it. Listen, I really am here to make your life better. Really. We want to take good care of you, right? We'll make a great team. Strange, maybe. Perfect, doubtful. Yes, we are quite notorious here. Two flowers. Thank you, ma'am. That was very tasty. It's all about bringing people together. Indeed. You gotta be careful with these pills you're taking. What about her? What about her? I'm not going anywhere. You needed a knife. This is all for the best, my love. You have to kill him. It's the only way out. You talk about a surprise film. I haven't heard of this film, believe it or not. Or I did and I forgot. Basically, as I read, Marion Rogers is Granny. She lives by herself. And her son wanted her to have somebody to take care of her at the house. So they interview for people, and then here comes Rebecca. Very mysterious from the start. It's kind of odd that son would actually hire somebody that strange, but he did. So, you know. She's caring for Granny. Then she gets the idea of, you know, Granny has a big house, a downstairs, upstairs, basement, however. Convinces her to do this going to site that travelers can stay there on their way through. But then Rebecca's true identity comes through. So you can imagine what happens in Granny's house. But I think what's the most amazing part about Granny is how she handles the situation. I don't want to say too much. I don't want to give it away. Bill Obers Jr. plays a detective looking for missing people. I'll just stop right there. Remarkable film. I really enjoyed this film. You know, when you first start watching it, you're thinking, oh, what's this about? You know? But then you really get into it. The characters is great. The acting was superb. Great storyline and well shot. I really dug this. At Granny's House in 2015 is a surprise film for me. It was 
you know, action from start to finish. When I say action, I don't mean fighting. I'm saying there's always something new to catch on to. And it sucks you in, and you watch it to the hoy to the end. A brilliant film. So there you go. If you are a Bill Oberstein fan, you'll see him for a little bit as the detective. Or a Rachel Alec fan, she's here. Marion Rogers. Granny. A remarkable performance for her. She was great. So that being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 7.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed this one. Again, a big surprise. Hopefully you like it too. This is Gruesome Herzog. And I'm out of here.